What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and I'm crazy excited about today because it's a garage day. I have got so many things that I have been waiting to put on my Jeep because I've just been so busy on trips and stuff but today is a day for, for projects. Starting with bumpers. I've got new front and rear bumpers for the Gladiator. Um, it is needed in the rear because I did accidentally back into a tree um, and so yeah glad to have new bumpers now um, so here's what we got I've got front and rear bumpers from JC Whitney and I know you're thinking JC Whitney what never heard of them well I actually have heard of them they are a company that has been around for a long time I remember back when my grandfather was working on his vehicles it's the website carparts.com. If you're familiar with that, you can get parts for all makes and models of vehicles. And they actually are making bumpers now. Um, and full disclosure, they did contact me and asked me if I would be willing to, to check these out. And normally I am very hesitant. I'm not going to run cheap, crappy bumpers on my rig. I'm not going to run ugly bumpers on my rig. But to be completely honest with you, I checked these out and they look really good. And they don't look, you know, they're not a clone of all the other stuff that you can find. So I am pumped to get these installed. And hopefully there'll be some time for some other things because I've got some lighting projects to do, um, some interior stuff to do. I've got a cell booster to install. Um, so I've got, I've got quite a few things. I don't think I'll get them all done today, but I'm gonna try. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's only indoor event for adventure travel enthusiasts. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have the passion and knowledge to ensure that your next outdoor experience is more than a camping trip, it's an adventure. And Long Creek Overland, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Some heavy duty stuff there. Wow. I don't know how much more this weighs compared to the factory one, but this is thick. It's got the ugh. it's got the sensor cutouts for the parking sensors in the bumper. It's got the cutout for the receiver hitch, um, plug lights for the license plate, um, cutouts for Rear facing lights, which they actually include. I like it. I like it a lot. My only concern is, is this going to work in conjunction with the factory rock rails in the back? I sure hope so, because if not, that's going to be an issue. But I think it will. Here's the cubes that come with it for the rear. I mean, fairly standard, but nice looks like a floodlight pattern for the rear that's that's gonna be good what we got we got parts list extra brackets here the mesh plates now i'm gonna be putting the the lights in oh i wonder if the lights work in conjunction with the plates hmm. that'd be kind of cool I don't know. It might block the light out, but we'll see. Another plate, another plate, and a bunch of little adapter pieces, and it's like all new hardware. of the website carparts.com that's where I got this 
20 volt lithium impact driver. All right, what's next? I don't even know. All right, let's see. That's enough for that. Oops. So many wires. This is when you find out how good you didn't clean under your vehicle. Under here, we've got one wiring harness that I think, there we go, that goes to the, the rear sensors. And I think that's the only, oh, oh, there's another one over here. This goes to, um, I think maybe the lights and stuff. Can't really tell. There it goes. Close out. Hopefully this will slide right off. I've got this table under here in case I missed any wires. The table's there. Now the fun part is undoing all of these wiring harnesses and pieces. Actual trim piece removal tool would come in really handy, but I don't have one. I wish I did. I need to get one. They're not expensive. But gosh, they put these on everywhere. I say this in all my videos, but just want to make it clear, this is not a how-to, because I'm sure there's better ways to do this. This is how I am doing it. Take an easy way out. Shh, don't tell. I can tell you right now, the new bumper Quite a bit heavier than the old bumper. Which I have mixed opinions on. Just because of added weight in the back when I've already got the tent stuff. But it'll definitely be a lot stronger. I think I could hit this one with a little tree and not put a dent in it. Take a look. See what they look like on the outside. Good. That's a lot better. There we go. Yes, that's so much better. Need some zip ties. Zip tie all this out of the way. I actually bought these for another project, but you can they're adhesive backed, so you can run a zip tie through them to secure things up. Oops. Let the adhesive comes off. Good. There it goes. So I'm gonna just put that right there. And Done. Later. Done. 
All right. I think we are ready to put this thing on the Jeep. All right. Wednesday tornado alarm test. All I gotta do is wire this in. That fits up in there just perfect with the rock rail. Yeah, I like that a lot. Those are my scuffs from putting it on the table. But God, that is solid. That fits really good. That's a whole lot beefier than the factory bumper. I like that a lot. Got the rear lights wired up. It was super easy. I just took the wiring harness that it came with, cut off the switch and the relay because I have my own. Grounded it to the frame right up there. Ran a positive all the way under the Jeep up here to my switch box and tapped it in there. I did. I, I have a I had a fuse that was blown, so I had to. Wiggle some switches around. It, it doesn't really need a 20 amp fuse. I gotta go get some more. But everything works. I like the lights back there. That's gonna be awesome. Back bumper's done. Now it's time for the front bumper. What do you think? Man, this thing looks amazing. Oh, I can't wait to get that on. The back bumper, I think, is going to be super easy in comparison to the front bumper. Not because the process of changing the bumper is any worse, but there's so much stuff on the front bumper that I have to take off and put back on. I've got, of course, the, the factory fogs are gonna go in the bumper, I hope. I hope they fit. They're supposed to fit. But someone told me that the JT fogs were just slightly bigger than the JL fogs. So I may have to do some, some creative um, things to make them work. But uh, TBD. But fogs are coming off Denali D4s. I love these lights. These are coming off my open road 4x4 panther winch is got to come out of course i got to remove the flat link so all that's got to come out um and then skid plate all that because because i do have a skid plate too um they do replace the skid plate so anyway hopefully i can get that done all today and the little goodie bag for the front bumper, we've got hardware and more hardware. We've got warranty. We've got instructions. Should be self-explanatory. And we have the winch plate. Yay for that. I was actually nervous that it wouldn't include it. But it is. So yay for the winch plate. All right. Time to start tearing stuff down. Do the winch. The problem is to put the winch of the factory bumper. I also added the worn winch plate, so I gotta take all that off. Press there.
thinking it's going to be easier to just hook, unhook the wires from the winch instead of pulling the wires away, at, at least in theory. I have to remember red, black, yellow. There we go. I do note that, and I think this is pretty much true with all bumpers from what I've been researching. Um, the LED fog lights from the factory steel bumpers um, do not work. I mean, there's just, there's, there's no way. I might be able to, to cut all some of that off and make it work, but I don't really want to do that because that way I can sell this with the bumper. So I'll be ordering new fogs for this. Um, like today So that, that's a bummer, but I had read that I'm not surprised These don't work Gonna be honest with you this is not the easiest bumper I've ever put on. I think the universal nature between JK, JL, and JT, while certainly cuts down on cost for them and cost savings to the consumer, makes installing it a royal pain in the butt. But I got it. I think it looks good. But it was not easy. There's a whole lot that's not on camera. Oh, me struggling with this thing by myself. Yay, winter works. Now the direction you face your lights is totally up to you. I've got the KC Gravity Pro 6 up high, throwing all kinds of light out forward. So I like to have my little cube lights on the bumper shooting off to the side because we do wheel quite a bit at night, as you saw from my rendezvous in the Ozarks video. And so it is not uncommon to be trying to find a trail and miss it in the dark. So these help me see the, the trails that I'm trying to, to locate sometimes. Well, that was actually a lot of work, but it is done, and I think the bumpers look fantastic. Now, the rear bumper, it went on super easy. The front bumper, the fact that it's a combo for a, a JK and a JL and a JT, definitely posed some challenges with the way they've got the, um, the slots and the, the bolts and the, the way they capture in there. Um, 
it would have been a lot easier if they had just designed one for the JK and one for the JT and the JLs. Um, but, I mean, understand it's a cost saves us, the consumer, some money by them doing it that way. It would have been a whole lot easier if I'd had help. Um, I will say that. I was doing this completely solo, so it, it would have gone better if, if I'd had help. And I also would not have dropped my bumper. So there's that. Luckily, there's no, no Mars in the finish, so um, I know where the one, one mark is, and I'm not telling. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Do you, do you like it? Um, J.C. Whitney's not one of the common companies that, you know, you hear people purchasing uh, for, their, for their Jeeps. So um, we'll love to know your thoughts. At the price point, I think they're absolutely fantastic. Very well constructed. Um, nice thick steel, not that thin crap stuff that you're going to find on, um, on a lot of other mid-priced budget, um, budget bumpers. And I definitely would not call this a budget bumper. It's it's a little bit pricier and um, excellent quality. So no complaints there. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, give us that YouTube love. Check out our Patreon, longcreekoverland.com for all of our merchandise. And let's see, what else? What's next? Um, I've got a bunch of, I've got some lights that I've got to, to work out. Uh, some that shine down here on the on the, the tailgate for when I'm when I'm cooking, um, I have I've got a kitchen slide um, that's supposed to be coming soon. I'm anxious to see how that's going to work with my totes. I may have to get creative with some sort of ramp or slide or something for them. Um, but crazy excited about that. Um, I've got external lights that are going to go here on the side because when I was wheeling at night at Rendezvous in the Ozarks. Um, realized that I had no visibility when we were going through that deep wash and really close um, to the side here. I had zero visibility back here, so I want some little little side shooter lights on the bed rack to illuminate this space out here. Here's those little angle lights that I'm going to put on the back for the tailgate. I've got these grab handles um, from Super Re. These lights are from Super Re. Um, got these grab handles since all that's actually a super fast install. I'll probably knock it out tomorrow. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye